<laughs> don't get me wrong i love my bonnets okay i've got an animal print i have got a teal bonnet and another t1 i have got a you know like a royal blue bonnet and i have got this lovely pink one from natural black and beautiful it's a jumbo bonnet love my bonnets so let's not get it twisted i love my bonnets is monique coming for her bonnets the bonnet let's talk about this let's talk about this monique 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 um <laughs> she has come out here and um she's talking about bonnets um and the appropriateness of wearing bonnets outside of the house so in this video i am here to talk about the monique situation and what are my thoughts on what she said about bonnets and wearing bonnets outside the house and we're going to dive in and really talk about the entire situation pretty much if you're new to my channel be sure to subscribe and make sure you click that notification bell so you're notified each time i post a new video if you're an old subscriber welcome thanks for coming back if you're interested in this video keep watching so for those who don't know monique came out a few weeks ago talking about a situation where she was at the airport and she saw a number of black ladies or african women wearing bonnets at the airport now these people were not just wearing bonnets they were wearing pajamas apparently um scarves and even slippers like you know house slippers like indoor slippers i assume and she made a video not calling them out necessarily but speaking to the fact that it is inappropriate to be dressed like that in public For those who haven't watched the video here it is hey my sweet babies so um it took me a minute to say what i'm getting ready to say because i want to make sure i'm not saying it in judgment and i want to make sure i'm saying it from a place of love y'all some of y'all have given me the title of auntie and i'm honored that y'all do that right but there are times where auntie gotta talk to her babies and say some real shit so yesterday i was in the airport in atlanta because i'm in jackson mississippi now at chuckles comedy club right and we got three shows tonight we got a matinee at 5 30 then we got seven then we got 10 right and i'm excited i always love going to the stage so when we got to the airport yesterday i was excited like all right baby let's go get him in jackson mississippi and as we begin to walk through the airport i saw so many actually too many to count and too many for me to tap but i saw so many of our young sisters in head bonnets scarves slippers pajamas Blankets wrapped around them, and this is how they're showing up to the airport. And it, I've been seeing it, not just at the airport, I've been seeing it at the store, at the mall. I've been seeing sisters showing up with these bonnets and headscarves and their slippers. And the question that I'm having to you, my sweet babies, when did we lose pride in representing ourselves? When did we step away of let me make sure I'm presentable when I leave my home. Let me make sure I'm representing the family I created so that if I'm out in the street, I look like I have pride in myself. And I'm not saying no full face of makeup. I'm not saying no full front lace frontal. I'm not saying none of that. All I'm saying is, could you please comb your hair? And if you don't want to comb your hair, they got enough shit out here now, baby, where you can style yourself up and look like you have pride. I'm not saying you don't have pride, but the representation that you're showing, someone would have to ask you to know that you had it. So my sweet babies, for the ones that do call me auntie, 
I love you for real. Even the ones that don't, I love y'all asses too. But the babies that say auntie to me, please listen to auntie. Always have pride in your representation of you. It's not to get a man. It's not, it is just your representation of you, my sweet babies. So I'm just giving y'all a warning. If I see you in the streets, in the airport, in the Walmart, and you got a bonnet on and you got slippers on and you looking like, what the fuck? A Nikki going to tap you and say, hey, baby girl, show you what you worth. Show you what you deserve. So all of those posts that you see celebrities putting out there saying, hey, queen, hey, queen, hey, queen. Well, can we start putting it into action? So I'm asking our wiser sisters, when we see our little babies out there looking like they just don't care, and I'm not saying y'all don't, it looks like it. Can we just tap them and say, baby girl, you deserve more than what you're showing. Represent you with pride, my babies. And that may be a part of us helping our community. Because if you look like you don't give a damn, how you gonna be treated? So, when I say, hey queen, I can only say it to the sisters that it belongs to. Cause a lot of us are still in queen training. So if you're in queen training, stop being fearful of taking your position. And queens don't walk around with bonnets and headscarves and slippers and pajamas. That's for the house. When you go outside, represent you, baby, like you are worthy and you deserve the title of Hey Queen. Uh, Nikki, love y'all for real. And I ain't never going to BS you. Stop wearing them damn bonnets and headscarves looking like don't nobody give a damn about you, nor do you give a damn about yourself. Because you're beautiful. So represent it. I love y'all for real, my baby. So, <laughs> we've heard the lady and she has clearly stated that I don't think she actually says this as an opinion. She's sort of saying it factually that bonnets, aka my bonnet, pajamas, slippers, you know, aren't appropriate clothes to wear in public. She said that we as African women need to dress like the queens that we are and that there's a lot against us already. So if you do not, you know, present yourself in a certain way to the world, you miss out on opportunities already, even while we are dressed like everybody else, smartly dressed, presenting appropriately to the world, we still have to prove ourselves to be better in order to get those opportunities that come so easily to others. So as you can see, I'm dressed in my bonnet and obviously I'm in a nightgown, um, which is, I think, I can't remember if she was in a bonnet. When, no, she was not in a bonnet when she um, spoke. She had beautiful cornrows, but she was in a nightgown or a, you know, in the house gown, if you may. Now, let me just come out here and say, she was not shaming bonnets. In my opinion, she didn't say bonnets are bad. She was alluding to the fact that bonnets are clothes or that's something that you wear in the house or, you know, within the comfort of your home. And to be honest, I agree with her. I really do. A bonnet is something you wear to bed. Pajamas are something you wear to bed. A nightgown is something you wear in the house. Like, I wouldn't go out there wearing a gown. You know, there is appropriateness to dress. And the same way I wouldn't show up to work in a bikini, the same way I wouldn't go to a date wearing a, like a, I don't know, a ball gown or something. Um, <laughs> the same way I wouldn't wear my pajamas to the store. And of course, each to their own. And I believe people should be free. And I agree with her on that part. What I don't agree is the fact that 
it should be like factual it's gospel truth kind of thing because that's what i sort of got from her message um i know she means well because she's probably one of the bluntest most honest people uh among celebrities to be honest um but i don't agree that you know everybody and and all of us must adhere to that because i strongly believe in the notion of leave and let leave people are free individuals if people don't care about opportunities wear a bonnet wear a scarf wear a gown wherever you want to go if people don't care about presentation and being taken you know because your presentation says a lot about you you know i think in one of her statements she actually said you know dress like you care you know and if people don't care about that you know they should be free to wear however they want but for people that are looking to make a place in this world um harness some opportunities people who want to be perceived a certain way it might be a good idea to not wear your bonnet and your pajamas to the airport and there are exceptions to the rule if it's an emergency if you're in a situation where i don't know you have to rush or something has happened and you just need to get out of the house of course you know, sometimes if it's a life and death situation, pff, by all means, who cares? You know, but I think if it's just wearing a bonnet, yeah, I, I agree that we should not wear bonnets out of the house or outside of the premises of the house. I personally haven't worn a bonnet per se, but, you know, it's not like it's a no-no for me. If push comes to shove or there's a particular, or I'm, I'm going through a tough time, for example, you know, and people do go through situations where they're not really caring for themselves. You know, it might be that I will show up <laughs> looking like I don't care because I don't care. Because, you know, something has happened in my life and that has taken all of my energy, pretty much. Monique stated that we need to have a certain pride when we present to the world because, you know, she calls, she calls us queens and we are queens. Um, she likes to use baby and, you know, sis and words like that to address, you know, us who are younger than her, us African women who are younger than her. And I mean, I think that is appropriate, although some people might take offense and say, you know, what gives you the right to give people advice. But, you know, in my in my view, I think she means well. And as African people, we learn from people that have gone before us and our elders and you know people that have um african women that have gone before us to open doors and opportunities for us so we do take advice from people of course you're not under any obligation to do so but you know i feel like it's a cultural thing sometimes to listen to people that have gone before you and i think she sees herself as a mature person that can give advice to younger women in the society now people came at monique they attacked <laughs> yeah they came out saying look what is your business what i wear you know what what gives you the right to speak to what i wear and how i want to present myself people were making videos comments were made um that i feel like were probably not called for and I think the biggest reason why she was bombarded with so much negativity is because of how she presented in her video. Her video was a good video and she, she meant well in her video, like I say, but she was actually wearing a gown to tell people not to wear gowns in public. And I know sitting here behind the camera, like I'm in my home at the minute, but this video will be in the public give or take you know it might be okay for some people maybe not for others um and i feel like maybe the message was just misunderstood because she did not present it's almost like practice what you preach kind of thing and people didn't take well to that i would say don't be petty like overlook what she's wearing of course she's in her house yes i would agree she should have worn exemplary the way she would want us to wear you know, because you're sending a message a lot about, you know, the presentation of the met, uh, uh, the presentation of the message matters. So if I were her, I would have worn something nice, something you would wear in public. 
But either way, I still get the message. I get the message. The message is, you know, don't wear bonnets and pajamas and slippers, etc., in public, which is a reasonable thing for me. Anywho, <laughs> the story goes that Monique came out with a video, a response video, and actually did, I think, a couple. I've seen one interview that she did with another lady and she was unapologetic she didn't go back on her word she didn't say sorry i offended you etc she stood on her ground she stood her ground because she strongly believes people should present appropriately and to be honest for me it's a no-brainer you know there are specific clothes for specific occasions and the way you present says a lot about you and says a lot about you know, the effort that you've put in or how seriously you want people to take you. If I rock up to work with a gown, people will think I've gone mad or I don't know, someone's dead. I don't know. But, you know, it's inappropriate for me to rock up to work in a gown. So, ladies, forget the pettiness. Um, don't be too caught up in how she's dressed or the fact that she's telling you or saying her opinion. You can obviously take or leave it, but in my opinion... Yeah, don't wear bedroom clothes outside, like lingerie to the mall, like <laughs> that wouldn't work. That's my personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below. Um, would you wear a bonnet, pajamas, slippers out there? There's no judgment here if that's your thing. I mean, you know, do you? Um, but my opinion is that it's a no. I would try as much as possible to be appropriate for being in public. Um, be sure to subscribe, like, share this video. Until next time, it's Pamara Nitros. Bye.